Hello, Shape Up Boot Camp friends and family from near and far. Thanks for joining Shelter in Place. We've got a flex and flow class today. We're going to do a little more flex than we usually do, but it's going to be good. You're going to feel strong. You're going to feel open. It's going to be yummy. That's a good word for yoga. It just feels yummy. All right, so go ahead, get your yoga music on. Um, you're going to need a towel for this workout or a yoga strap. I just got a medium sized towel and we'll just fold it up two or three times. I'll show you one time how I fold mine. We're going to do some really good hamstring stretches today. So that's what the towel's for. If you don't have one nearby, don't worry about it. A mat is great, not necessary. And then your water bottle. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Have a seat on your mat. All right, from here, just sit in a comfortable position. You can have your legs stacked out in front. You can have your legs crossed, legs bent. I want you sitting up nice and tall. Good. Sit up nice and tall. And just go ahead and close your eyes for a minute and begin to take some deep breaths in. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Here I'd like you to exhale longer than you inhale. If you just got done, maybe with a workout or with the with Chris's um, Saturday morning boot camp, your heart rate's up, your blood pressure's up. Let's just start to slow things down a little bit, recenter. We're it's Saturday, so we had a crazy week. No matter where you are and what you're doing, I know your week was crazy. And this deep breathing is just going to help recenter. Good. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the lips. Again, inhale through the nose, exhale through the lips. Nice, long exhalation. Good. One more breath. Beautiful. From here, if you're not in a cross-legged position yet, go ahead and get there. Crisscross applesauce, as I say in my daughter's preschool class. Go ahead and take one hand and place it on the opposite knee. Raise that opposite arm up to the side and twist away. Place that straight arm behind you and look over that back shoulder. You can use the hand on the knee to provide a little bit of tension and a little bit of help for your twist. Good. And then inhale up to the sky. Exhale, other way. Remember those nice long exhales. Good. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Maybe a little deeper this time. Inhale, reach. Exhale, twist. Good. Inhale, reach. Now, I want you to pretend that you're pulling your arms through cement so it's thick and it's going to be very slow because it's hard to pull your arms down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Bring your elbows all the way down. Pinch your sides. Good. Inhale. Reach. Again, pull those arms through cement. Squeeze. Pull slowly. Squeezing those shoulder blades together all the way down, all the way down to the back of those arms. Touch your sides. Inhale, reach. Let's do that one more time because it feels so good. Pull those arms through cement. Find your breath. Nice. Now find those goal post arms. So I've got a 90 degree bend in my elbows. And I'm just going to squeeze my shoulder blades together. Little tiny movements here. Strengthening those postural muscles. Good. Let's go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Harder than it looks. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Let the hands fall all the way down to the ground. Take the tension out of the head and neck and creep those fingertips forward a little bit further. Good. Inhale to a neutral position. Good, are we smiling? All right.
right, let's take some tension out of the neck just in case you might have some. I know that's where I carry my tension through my neck and shoulders. This stuff feels good. So go ahead and just give me a big giant yes. Look up to the sky, chin to chest, down. Good, if you're ever sitting at a desk for long periods of time, go to these little neck exercises to shake it out, maybe even every hour. Good, and then head into neutral position. Let's do a big no. Very good, I have a four-year-old, so I see this one a lot. No. Good, and then neutral again. Let's take an ear to shoulder. So just gentle, don't force it. So we're stretching out the opposite side down here. Nice, if you want to, you could even add a little tug just to get a little deeper. Should not hurt, just feel the stretch. Go ahead and release, neutral. Other side, ear to shoulder. Maybe a little help if you'd like. That feels okay. Good, go ahead and release here. Now, I want you to bring your shoulders forward, bring your shoulders up by your ear, back, and then down. And then there's that open heart. There's that open posture we wanna work on. So let's try that again. Forward, up, back, and down. Good, again, forward, up, back, and down. One more. Forward, up, back, and down. Do you feel the difference there? So anytime you need to do a posture check, I'll remind you to do a few. That's just a great way to do it, to make sure you're not slouching and you're opening up. All right, let's go ahead and make our way to a standing position and get ready to flex a bit. All right, can you see me okay? Great. All right, I would love for you to start with feet a little wider than hip width apart. I'm just gonna come down into a squat and warm up the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes. Hands can be on the hips, hands can be in the front. Just down and up, nice and easy. You don't have to go extremely low yet. We're just warming up, so sit back. Sit down, chest is up, using your legs, not your back, use your legs, good. As you stand up, I want you squeezing those glutes. Push through your heels. In this squat, you should be able to lift your toes. Go ahead and try to lift your toes. Good, weight is in the heels. Good, so you feel some heat building, right? You feel your heart rate begin to increase. That's what we're looking for. Very good. I want you to hold it here in this squat. Four, three, two, one, stand up. Come out just a little bit wider. Now shift your toes out. This is called a sumo squat. Lift open through the chest, abs are tight. Again, weight is in the heels, down and up. So you feel it in a little bit different spots, right? We're still working our glutes, our hamstrings, and our quads but I'm feeling it in my inner thighs as well. Go ahead, open up through the heart, engage your core, pull your belly button in towards your spine. I'm trying to get my quads parallel with the floor here. Good, feel that heat. This is our flex, and yes, we'll flow. Four, three, two, hold it here. For four, get low, three, lower, two, push up through your heels, good job. Now, take your toes, face me. Keep it wide. I want you to shift your weight about 80% to one side. 20% of the weight is on the other leg. Lift your heel on that 20%. Give me a squat. So we're loading up that leg that we've got about 80 to 90% of our weight on, right? This leg's helping out a little bit. Get it low, everything is the same. Chest open, use your legs, not your back. Good. 
Beautiful. Looking good, guys. How you doing? Very good. Four, three, two. You're going to feel so good after this workout, I promise. Good. Now let's just switch. Let's go 80% of the weight, 20% of the weight. Give me that squat. Chest up. Abs are tight. Engaged. Good. Sit back. Sit down. Just a few more. Give me four, three, I see Harper, two, one. Good. Shake it out a little bit. All right. So come to the front of your mat or wherever you're at in your home. We're going to do something called a sneaky lunge. The first thing you're going to do is come up on your toes. Okay. So my heels are lifted. I'm going to stay lifted in my heels and step back into a lunge. Step forward. I'm still up on my tippy toes and step back. Still up on my tippy toes. Good. So just alternate here. Try to keep your heels lifted. Whew. Nice. We're being sneaky. That's why we call them sneaky lunges. We're up on our toes. Nice. Let me see. Good. A lot of balance here. A lot of core. Beautiful. Few more. Few more. Take your time. Engage that core. Raise those arms. Four. Three. Two. One, good, bring those feet together. Beautiful, catch your breath for a moment. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale. From here, we're going into a figure four. So take one leg, take that ankle over the opposite standing leg. Sit back and sit down. This is a yoga pose in and of itself. And we're just gonna do a tiny little baby squat here. Again, in that standing leg, trying to keep the weight distributed evenly. Sit back, sit down, find a focal point if you're feeling wobbly and don't take your eyes off of it. Good. Now don't cut yourself short. Stand all the way up tall. Squeeze that glute in that standing leg. You can do it. I know it's burning a little bit. Four, good job. Three, two, and one. Woo, go ahead and come on out, shake it out. Good, let's go the other side. Find that figure four stretch. Sit back, sit down, and go ahead and do a few of those little mini squats. Remember to stand up tall every time. Squeeze those glutes. Good. Flexing through that foot of the bent leg. Nice. Good job. Just a few more, please. Find your breath. Remember your exhalations for four, three, two, and one, good job, shake it out. From here, go ahead, give me a nice wide straddle position. Give me a big deep breath in, take in all that's good. Exhale out, fold forward any stress or tension. Good, so you're just in this standing forward fold in a wide straddle position. Walk the hands over to one foot. Feel that lengthening out on the opposite side body. Walk the hands back to the center. Take it all the way over to the other side. Controlling your breath if your heart rate's still elevated from our leg series. Bring it back to the center. Bend the knees, round it up one vertebrae at a time. Give me some nice big exaggerated shoulder rolls here. Nice, maybe even bigger. Get the arms involved. 
Good. Oh, yes. Opening up. Now, from here, give me a little spinal twist. You see my knees are pivoting with my upper body. My arms are just loose and alone for the ride. You might even get a little back crack right here. Feels good. Spinal mobility. Good, go ahead, take one more deep breath in. Use your legs, use your whole body. Exhale, heart center. Good, I'm gonna heel toe my feet in just a little bit closer together. My toes face you, your toes face me. We're gonna put our kickboxing guards up. Kickboxing and yoga, stay with me, okay? We're gonna do some slow, controlled movements. So go ahead and get into your legs a little bit. Guards are up by the ears, abs are tight. Now from here, I'm going to cross punch and a squat. I want this slow and controlled. Where am I feeling this? Everywhere, but I'm really engaging through my core. So just squat, pivot that knee, let it follow that punch to each side of the room. If you have a little set of hand weights that aren't too heavy, you can always add those in for this kind of work. Here we go for four, three, Two, one, good, hold it here. So guards are up, we're in our nice wide squat position, abs are tight. I want you to just give me a little tiny crunch side to side. So legs are stable and I'm really focusing on my obliques, crunch, crunch, crunch. Can you get a little lower in your legs? Woo, good job. I'm feeling it, I know you are. Good job, a few more here. Give me four, three, two, one. Good, now keep it a little tighter. Right here, little movement, get a little lower in those legs. Really working your middle. Good job. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Do that crunching motion, good. Last four. Standing core, three, come on, two, and one, stand up, whoo, good job. All right, big deep breath in, exhale, pull forward, I'm still wide in my straddle, enjoy that stretch down the hamstrings, down the back of the legs, good job. Walk it over to one side, just like we did a few moments ago. Enjoy that side opening. You can even take maybe an arm overhead. Whatever feels good. Listen to your body. Back to the center, walking the hands to the other side. Good. And back to the center here. Now I'm, I'm still folded forward, okay? Um, you don't have to look up. You can listen or you can look up but I'm gonna take the weight into my heels and I'm gonna drop my butt. So I'm in this really low sumo squat. I'm gonna put my hands in prayer position and take my elbows on the inside of my knees and thighs. And I'm just gonna do a little rock side to side here. So we're in that straddle position, drop your butt and just give me a little rock side to side. This can be intense. So come out if you need to. Good, woo, and if it feels okay, put the hands down and walk all the way over to one side. This is one of my favorite warm-up stretches we do before boot camp. Extend out through that opposite leg, foot is flexed, and give me a nice big opener overhead. Good, go ahead and release, walk it, creep it over to the other side. Flex through that straight leg, toes are up to the sky, reach over, we say sky because we don't have ceilings. There is no limit to what you can do. Nice, go ahead and release. Let's go ahead and walk it to the center. From here, bend your knees, round it up one vertebra at a time. Good, give me those shoulder rolls again. 
you're feeling loose, you're feeling good, exaggerate the movement, add some big arms here. And just because this feels right, let's go ahead and fold forward, round through the back, and then open up through the chest. Round and open. Move with your breath if you can. Don't overthink it. We're still low in those active legs. Good. One more here. And rise up. Go ahead and bring the feet together. Good job. Let's make our way down to the mat on all fours. Quadruped position, okay? Take your time getting there. Grab a drink of water if you need it. Grab water at any time. All right, all fours position, please. So we've got our wrists under our shoulders. Our knees are under our hips. Think about pulling that belly button up towards your spine, your pelvic floor, this region, lifting it towards your bottom rib cage. That is us activating our core. It takes a lot of practice. I'll cue it, think about it, don't overthink it, and just keep practicing, okay? So we're in all fours here. What we're going to do is lift one bent leg up, donkey kicks, all right? So knee to knee, lift it up to the sky. Flex through that foot. Now here's what I'm doing. I'm isolating my glutes and hamstrings. Again, if you have light weights, you could even squeeze it behind your knee and add a little resistance, but it's not necessary. So we're gonna, again, create some heat here, working the glutes. I told you we were doing more flexing today. Don't worry, we are gonna flow. Good, again, pressing it up to the sky. Just a few more, please. Four, three, actively lift and actively lower. Don't let that leg just flop down. Now hold it here for me, pulse for 10, little pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it, and now kick it out and in, out and in. It's lifted, you're just opening and closing that knee. Good job, give me 5, 4, 3, we aren't done, 2, no, no, no. Hold it straight. Go ahead and tap that straight leg toe to the ground and lift it back up. Just to activate that glute. Three, four, five. Toes are down towards the ground. Six, four more, you can do it. Seven, eight, woo, nine, ten. Give me one more. Here's what we're gonna do, it's a little tricky. You're gonna cross that straight leg over your bent knee, and then you're gonna bring it all the way up and over out to the side. I'm gonna give you a different view. So that leg crosses over, then lift to the center, and then kick it out as far as you can, range of motion to the other side. Lift, it's kind of like we're making a triangle. We're drawing a triangle with our toe. Good, over. Lift, out to the side. Good. Few more, come on. Flex and flow. Three, take your time, be in control. Two, think about engaging that core while you're doing this. Good, last one all the way, finish it up. Oh, and knee down. Child, thanks very much. Good job. From here, you're in your child's pose. I want you to go ahead and lift all the way up, up. Now chest drops to a tricep push up on your knees. Push back to your child's pose. Lift up, up, up. Chest drops, tricep push up and back to child's pose. Go ahead and flow through that. It is a strength move, but it's also a stretch move. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. I like this move. Okay, keep going. 
Just a few more. Two more. Find your child's pose. From here, walk the hands, staying in child pose, over to one side, doesn't matter which one. Feel that lengthening out through the side body of the opposite side you're reaching for. Walk the hands to the center and you know, let's go over the other side. Back to the center. Come up to all fours, quadruped. Are you ready for that other side? Thumbs up. All right, let's go. Donkey kicks here. Flex through the foot up to the sky. Control it down. Remember, pulling that belly button in towards the spine, lifting the pelvic floor up towards the bottom of the rib cage. And you can activate your deep core muscles at any time. It doesn't have to be during the exercise. You can do it while you're driving, standing in the kitchen, working or washing your hair in the shower. Good. Just as actively as you lift, you lower. Five. Four. I am shaking. Three. It's good. Two. And one, hold it here. Let's go ahead and pulse. Two, three, four, five, straight up. Six, seven, eight, nine. We hold it. What's next? Remember, out and in. Nine, eight. Try to get your leg parallel with the floor if you can keep it lifted. Five, four. You got it. Come on, three. Two, do you remember what's next? Hold it here. Tap that straight leg down and lift. Down and lift. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to draw that V. So take that leg, cross it all the way over, touch the toe to the ground. Take it straight up to the sky and kick it all the way out to the other side. Lift, cross, lift, touch. Lift, cross, lift, touch. Now if you're like me, I do a lot of boot camp and hit type workouts. So this is the kind of stuff that I can easily gloss over but I not only find it effective, but it helps prevent injury for me as well. So it's good for all of us. Four, three, whew, two, give me that full range of motion. One, good child's pose. Oh, you earned it. Good. Let's go ahead and come up, um, come up to the tricep push-up. So you're in your child's pose. Lead with the chest. Elbows go straight back. Kiss your sides. Just a few more of these. How about four more? Sound good? Three, two, and one. Child's pose, rest. In child's pose, you can even bring your toes together and take your knees out a little wider and sink a little deeper. So it's going to feel a little bit different. Still a resting child's pose. You can also stack your fists and rest your head right there. Sometimes that feels really good too. Give it a try. Just a few breaths here. Recenter. Gather yourself. Nice. Ah, good, good, good. All right, from 
here, let's find our all fours position again. All right, curl the toes. Let's meet in downward facing dog. So spread your fingertips wide apart. All right, grounding through your hands. Knees are bent, toes are curled. Go ahead and begin to lift the hips up to the sky and press the chest back. Keep your knees slightly bent to begin. All right, as you start to feel a little more stable, go ahead and start to straighten your legs. From here, feel free to walk the dog out by bending and straightening each leg. Pressing your heels down to the ground. Again, pushing your chest towards the tops of the thighs. Let's all go ahead and bend the knees all the way down, down, down toward the ground and then lift up to the sky and straighten. Let's do that again. Knees down, hips to the sky, heels to the earth. Knees down, hips to the sky, heels to the earth. Beautiful. Look at the space in between your hands and let's begin to step our feet forward to meet our hands. We're in a standing forward fold now. Go ahead and take the tension out of your neck. Let your arms and head get heavy. Enjoy this forward fold. You're feeling some lengthening in your spine. You're feeling some tension release out of the backs of the legs. Good, go ahead and bend the knees. Inhale with intention, rise up to the sky. Exhale, heart center. Let's flow, shall we? Let's do some half sun salutation. So inhale, reach. Exhale, swan dive forward. Nice flat back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway pose. Nice light touch on the tops of the thighs or the shin. Energy reaching out toward the crown of the head, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Now here, inhale, bend the knees, rise up, scoop the arms, and sit back into chair pose. So weight is in the heels here. Push your butt back. You should be able to lift your toes. Energy is reaching out through the arms, biceps by the ear, pulling those inner thighs center. Abs are engaged. Good. Exhale, fold forward. Bend the knees, inhale, rise up. Exhale, heart center. Beautiful. I like that. Let's do that again. Ready? Together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Find your chair pose. Sit down, sit back. Push the butt back, get a little deeper in those legs. Reach out with intention through the arms. You're strong in this pose. From here, go ahead and shift the weight over to the right. Try to play around with lifting the left foot off the ground. Woo! Good, go ahead and switch sides. Stay low, stay low, fight, 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 fight. Go ahead, even it out, fold forward. Bend the knees, inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Or I'm sorry, exhale, heart center. Catch your breath. Good, let's do that one more time together. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up to chair. Let me see your best chair pose. I know you're tired, I know you're shaking. We fight through it, we get out of our comfort zones and we're gonna come out of this, all of this stronger. Good, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, heart center. Beautiful, catch your breath. Take a few breaths here like we talked about at the beginning. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the lips. Recenter yourself. Control your breath, control your heart rate. A few more breaths here. We're gonna flow just a little bit more, make our way down to the mat for those yummy hamstring stretches I promised you, okay? So find the top of your mat if you're not there, 
Let's go ahead and flow a little bit together, just a basic sequence here. Inhale, reach up to the sky, good. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway pose. Exhale, fold forward. Hands come down to the mat. Step or jump the feet back into plank. Good. From here, you can drop your knees or keep them lifted, but I want you to shift your weight forward no matter what. Bend at the elbows. There's that tricep push-up. Lower yourself down. Flatten out the tops of the feet. Hands are by the armpits here. Upward facing dog or baby cobra if you're not ready. Upward facing dog. You can lift the thighs off the mat here. I'm going to curl my toes and I'm going to, even if I'm on my knees, I'm going to lift my hips up and back to that down facing dog we prepared for. Good. From here, look at the space between your hands. Step or jump through. That just means bring your feet back up to the top of the mat. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, heart center. We're going to do that one more time together, and then I'm going to let you crank that music and flow, okay? Here we go. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway pose. Exhale, fold forward. Step or jump back, plank pose. Knees down if you'd like, shift your weight forward, chaturanga, kind of like that tricep push-up, lower yourself down, flatten out the feet, upward facing dog, curl the toes, downward facing dog. Step or jump through, inhale, rise up, exhale, heart center. Okay, now there's no rules here. You might find yourself twisted just because it feels good. Okay, I want you to follow your body. If you forget a piece of it, it doesn't matter. So here's where you say, Alexa, turn the volume up and you get the flow and the beat of the music and those endorphins going. All right, go ahead. Got about two minutes. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and finish your rotation. Take your time and let's meet in mountain pose. Good job. Good job. Catch your breath. That was nice. Yeah. It's fun to do it to music too. I hope you have some music going. Good. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the mat together. Why not? So inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway pose. Exhale, fold. Step or jump back. Good. Knees down. Child's pose. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and 
thread the needle while we're here, yeah? This will feel good. So lift up through your hips just slightly. I want you to take one arm, doesn't matter which one, and reach it up to the sky from your all fours position. This is gonna naturally open up your chest. From here, we're gonna thread it under the arm that's on the ground. And as we keep reaching, reaching for the side of the room, we're naturally gonna open up and we're gonna be able to place the side of our head and the side of our shoulder on the ground. I want you to sit back into your child's pose as well. If you're doing this with a partner, you can take turns kind of doing this and kind of opening up through the shoulders and kind of giving each other a little massage just to open up a little more and take turns with that. Feels so good. Now that front hand that's on the ground, slide it back towards you. Push up through the palm of that hand and unwind. Good. Take your hands, push your fingers towards you, palms down, and just sit back in your child's pose for a little wrist stretch here. Nice. Go ahead and lift up. Coming to all fours, getting ready for that thread the needle on the other side. So reach towards the sky, chest opens up. Go ahead and begin to thread the needle under that opposite arm. Reach, reach, reach for that opposite side of the room until you naturally want to lay the side of your head and your shoulder down. Sit back, butt to heels. Enjoy this stretch through your upper back. Slow your breathing down, keep it in control. Good. From here, slide that front hand back to meet you, push up through the palm, and now we're in all fours again. From here, flip your palms up, fingers towards the center. Down, your butt is back on your heels, and I just want you to stretch out the wrists again with a little side to side here. So palms up, fingers in, side to side. Adding just the slightest bit of pressure. Good, and then lift up, shake it out. All right, if you've got that towel close by or your yoga strap, let's go ahead and prepare it for some hamstring stretches. I've just got like a medium hair towel here and I'm gonna fold it into thirds. So it's about like that. Whatever, it will work, don't worry. Okay, so let's make our way to a seated position. Before you lay all the way down, go ahead and take your eyes up here at me and I'll show you what we're gonna do so it won't be, you won't have to look the whole time and you can just kind of get into it. Okay, so we're gonna be on our back, we're gonna have our knees bent, we're gonna take the towel across one arch and we're gonna raise that leg up. I'm using some tension to pull that leg in towards me. I can have a slight bend in the knee, I can have it straight. Um, go ahead and lay down and let's get into it. So prepare the towel across the bottom of your foot, nestle it into that arch, all right? I'm laying back on my back, knees bent, leg is straight up to the sky, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pull, and if, even if you don't have a towel, I can still grab behind my calf and straighten out that leg and play around with some stretching down the back of the leg. Okay, now here our breath is really important. We don't want to rush through this. You want to play around with position and amount of tension and find where it feels really good. Nice. Try not to rush. Good. Go ahead and release if you're ready and switch sides. Same stretch. Other side. Find your breath. We can carry a lot of tension. The hamstrings can be hard to stretch, don't you think? Like to really get in there. Even here, if I don't get it quite right, I'm feeling it a little more in my calf. So I really have to play around with the position. And once I find it, it's like, oh yeah, baby. Right there. Good. 
good. Go ahead and release. Now, we're going to do that again, all right? But we're going to have the option. Instead of keeping one leg bent, we can straighten it out. It's going to be a little more intense, a little different. If it doesn't feel good, we're just going to repeat the stretches. But keep your knee bent, okay? Here we go. Go ahead and lift. If it feels okay, straighten out that bottom leg. Oh, yes. Go ahead and release. Get ready to switch to the other leg. Last time, option to straighten the opposite leg down towards the ground. Two more breaths, stay in control. Go ahead and release. Stay here, take your arms out to a T position. Take one leg up and go ahead and drape it across your body so that we're in a spinal twist. You can bring the leg high, low, straight, bent. You find where it feels good and you feel that tension leave your back. Good. Looking out over the opposite straight arm so your head is facing away from the leg that's crossed over. That makes sense. Now if you have any tightness in your back, you can tense up in this. I want you to try to breathe through it and kind of melt into the stretch with your breath and give it a minute before you come out of it and see if you can get those tight muscles to relax even just a fraction more. Carefully come out of that and switch to the other side. Oh, I'm so tight, guys. Ugh. All right, I'm going to slow down my breathing and see if I can melt. Good. Go ahead and carefully come out of that. Hug your knees into your chest. Roll around on your spine a little bit. And go ahead and prepare for our final position, our corpse pose, our savasana. So if you want to put your socks or your blanket on, you're at home, you might have a blanket nearby. You could take a pillow and put it under your low back or your head. Get cozy. I want you to enjoy this. If you have some some like yoga pop playing, you might want to go to some nature sounds or a rushing river, waves in the ocean, you can pick, all right? Um, or you could just do silence. Does that exist at your house right now? It doesn't here. <laughs> and that's okay. All right, so I'm going to take you through a muscle tension release exercise that I like to do. Um, so, and then I'll be quiet. And I'm going to let you rest. All right. I know that this is a hard thing for us to do. Go, okay, bye, Cassie. Thanks. And click off. But I just encourage you to just stay with me for a few more minutes. You won't regret it. Okay. So cue up your music. Get cozy. Go ahead and palms up. Let your feet flop to the side. Take the tension out. All right. Maybe a few of those yeses and noes for your neck. And then find that breath that. Okay. Okay. So hoping you're in position. I want you to go ahead and, draw and tighten up the muscles in your neck and bring your shoulders to your ears. Squeeze your eyes, squint. Keep everything tight, 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 tight. And release. The tension out of your jaw, your tongue can hold tension, your neck, your shoulders. Again, 
Sometimes I'm not melting into the mat. I can always melt a little more. So see if you can release even more. Good, now give me tension in the shoulders, the neck, the face, the jaw, clench through the core. Make fists with your hands. Everything's tight, 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 tight. Release. Release even more. Don't be afraid to let those long, loud exhalations out. Cleansing breath. Let's go ahead and tighten from the top of the head down through the glutes and into your legs and even your toes. Everything in your body is clenched tight, 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 tight. Release, release, release the fingers, the toes. Let the feet flop to the side. Find your breath, melt a little more. Find your breath, melt a little more. And I'm going to be quiet and you're going to rest. Start to bring awareness back to your body by wiggling your fingers and toes. And let me add, you don't have to because you're home. And if you are feeling like you need more time here, go ahead and take that. But if you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe take a nice big overhead, big morning stretch. Roll the ground on your mat, hug your knees to your chest, take any stretches your body's calling out for you to take, eventually making your way to your side, gently pushing up to a seated position, a comfortable seated position. And we'll just do a word together before we sign off. And I just want to say thank you so much for gathering here. There's so many options out there for our home workouts right now during shelter in place. And I know that um, it means so much to our local studios and your trainer friends to, to be involved in what they're doing and the services they're trying to provide. So first of all, a big thank you. A second thank you for your grace as we're all just figuring out the technology piece of trying to interact together as a community. And lastly, I just pray for your health and your wellness and your family. And
and all your worries. And I pray that today is a day filled with joy. Thank you for honoring your body with me and taking this time. I hope you feel really good and you're ready to go out there and have a great Saturday with whoever you're hunkered down with. Thank you so much, everybody. Namaste.